We're all set for a huge semifinal matchup at Wimbledon as last year's champion Carlos Alcaraz is set to take on Daniil Medvedev, who is a former major champion winner himself. What's up, everybody? It's John Arapoli, and I cannot wait to see how the semifinal matchup is going to play itself out between Carlos Alcaraz, last year's Wimbledon champion, taking on Daniil Medvedev, who made the semifinals in last year's Wimbledon, now back for another semifinal appearance. And for this matchup, guys... Forget about looking at the X's and O's of things, about who has the better serve and who has the better backhand and who could charge the net better, any of that stuff. Forget about all that stuff. For me, looking at this matchup, it's going to be all about the mental side of things. Now, we know Carlos Alcaraz, mentally tough, never goes away. The bigger the match, the better he performs. He is a young phenom, a three-time major champion, the youngest player in tennis history to win major championships on grass, on clay, and on the hard court. So we know he's going to always be a tough out no matter what. Now, Daniil Medvedev is the guy I want to talk about here really today. Medvedev, all the talent in the world. We all know that. We've seen it on display time and time again. The guy's won a major championship as he won the U.S. Open a few years ago. But Medvedev, known to blow some opportunities, known for losing some big matchups there, uh, and really losing a lot of opportunities where he's had leads in these sort of opportunities. Uh, just look no further than his two Australian Open final appearances, both of those being up two sets to love, going on to lose those opportunities to uh, Roth and the Dahl and to Yannick Sinner. That Yannick Sinner loss was early this year here in 2024. I believe they said on the broadcast uh, today, seven times he's had leads up two sets to love or either two sets to one goes on to lose those opportunities. So he's a guy that has a hard time closing the door. And the reason why I bring that up is just look at this matchup here today with Yannick Sinner. I mean, he played a great match here today, but you look at something like 10 double faults in that matchup. Now, I understand when you're playing a five-set match, there's going to be mistakes that happen along the way, and it's not going to be absolutely pretty at every single moment. I understand all that, but just what worries me is if we see something like that, there's 10 double faults against a guy like Carlos Alcarez, that is almost a dead sentence, giving away free points and free opportunities for Carlos Alcarez because Alcarez is known to capitalize off of those opportunities. So Medvedev's really going to have to dig down deep here and play a very clean game, in my opinion, to beat Carlos Alcarez. Now, here's the one thing that I will say is pretty good news if you're on the side of Team Medvedev here. Carlos Alcaraz, it hasn't been the prettiest Wimbledon tournament so far. Yeah, sure, he keeps advancing and winning, but we've seen him in some tough opportunities there throughout the course of the tournament. Just look at his quarterfinal matchup against Tommy Paul, losing that first set, being down a break very early in the second set. Now, of course, Alcaraz able to dig down deep, does what he does best, and just gets better as matches go along. But still, we've seen him be a little vulnerable here in this tournament. So there's a lot of upside here. For Team Medvedev. So let's see how this one plays out. It's two great players, two very consistent players, two former, obviously, uh, of course, major champions here. Uh, so let's see how this one's going to play itself out. It's going to be a very fun matchup. I think a lot of people are looking at this one as the winner of this semifinal. It's going to be the favorite, of course, in that other final, um, seeing whoever they would play coming out of that other semifinal. Uh, obviously, a lot of question marks on that half of the bracket, but just looking at it right now, this Medvedev and Alcaraz matchup, it is a fun one. Cannot wait to see how it's all going to play out here in the semifinals.